Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain to episode 5 of Arco Trip. We are finally caught up! Oh my god! <laughs> but then watch, like, something's gonna happen, and then I'm gonna be pushed back, and I'm gonna be so upset. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 5 <laughs> in 3, 2, 1, go. B2W, I am gonna have my Doritos. So, um, if you're hungry... Please go get food. I don't want to eat by myself, even though I'm going to be eating by myself in the video. Come on, let's take you home. Yeah, it's not every day that you hear a talking cat, but hey, it's okay. Yeah. No, it's okay. See, that's his gun talking. They met on Christmas! Um... And that's how our love story began.
He's going to come in the second half because, I mean, I think, what, technically next week we'll be on the second half of the show? Do you not have an alarm clock? You need one. Okay. Yeah, you definitely have. Oh my god. <laughs> you only need three. Great. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Can we just talk about the fact that her grandpa was like, you want me to lose him? Like, <laughs> grandpa, gee. That would be true.
That's so sad. Baby, she literally waited the whole time. Yes. You literally ran all the way here. That's so cute. I'm gonna use the magic wand though. I do the same, oh my god! <laughs> I lost the wine. I mean, but like, the thing is, how much does she pay for it? Oh, <laughs> 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 
did this. She did it. She's ready today. Jesus Christ. You pay for all of them. Well, no, obviously. See that this game for you. That's freaking good for you. Aww. Damn, that's a big ass fish. <laughs> what? And thanks for the fish.
I love how, you know, she freaked out about this for a moment, but now she's so okay with this. Cheesical. Cheesical! <laughs> oh my god. I got a fish. Uh. You might as well tell her. Right? Like, why throw her a raw behind fish and then be like, mm, well... Since you're acting some type of way, I'm not going to tell you who I got her from. She's literally, like, what are you supposed to do with the fish? I mean, yes, you can cook it and eat it and such, but she was busy doing something else. And you literally give her a raw behind fish. Okay, love the fact that they got to show an episode, well, not even an episode, just a cute little clip of, you know, Barry and Machido, like, first meeting. That was so fucking cute. Like, diabetes. Oh my god. The poor baby, like, he was in the snow and she helped him! Like, yeah, it does kind of give you, like, the Sailor Moon vibes and such, but, um, just in a different way, instead of it's, like, being a regular, like, summery fall afternoon, it was around Christmas time. So, of course, it's going to be a very special day for the both of them. And the fact that she gave him, like, rich, extra rich milk. And he's over here like, I like it, but I don't particularly like it like that. But, you know, hey, I'll take some. They're so sweet. I it just, once again, I love how he is so very much protective of her. It, it's so freaking sweet. Like, oh, my God. He's like the cutest mascot ever. I would literally, like, if they had merch of him, I would buy in a heartbeat. Like, dead ass. Because he's just so freaking adorable. And, and the fact that it's like, once again, that he's played by Ken from Dr. Stone, which is freaking hilarious because, once again, how, the fact that I know, didn't notice until episode three and four, but I was like, every single week with one and two, I was like, why does this dude sound familiar to me? Not knowing that because I finished Dr. Stone recently and such, that yes, he, and he's not only in this, he's in several other shows that I watched in this past, like, couple of years, not even years, a couple of months, and it's nuts. But, you know, that's how, you know, you never know what anime somebody could be in. Like, so, you know, you're, like, watching something, and you're, hell, dude is in Blue Lock, and, and I didn't know until now after looking, and he plays the one character that I didn't think he was gonna play. I was like, oh, okay. Very chill. Yes, I love it. But, no, the relationship still is so cute in this, and I hope we get to see more in the next up-and-coming weeks, especially in the second half. But I do hope that the guy that's in the opening who wears, like, the white lab coat and, like, he has, like, the kind of a navy bluish hair we do get to see him soon because something tells me he is the big big bad besides chrome chrome is like chrome <clears throat> i didn't say this in episode one and two but i'll say this now chrome gives you like the villain of the week type vibes and such where um he's like the mini boss before you get to the actual boss so you know you you pay mind and attention to him but you're like i <laughs> you ain't really worth my time because you're not the big boy we want the big boy so that we could seriously have a really good match and stuff but he's just the one that you like <sighs> you go to when you just want to level up <laughs> And I hate to say that because I love Chrome. He's so freaking sweet and gullible, but like, it's so true. <laughs> it is so true that the point it's not even funny. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode five of Arco Trip. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. It's with Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode six. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.